In this video, we're going to learn how to use the to lower function in C. So the to lower function is going to convert an uppercase letter to a lowercase letter. And the function is part of the C type library. So the first thing we'll do is include the C type library with include and then C type H. Then we'll declare a car type variable called before and we'll assign to before the character uppercase A. We can call the to lower function and pass it before with to lower and then before. And the function is going to return the character lowercase a. We'll store that character into another car type variable called after. Then we'll output both before and after. So we'll have here printf before colon and then percent %c to output a character and backslash n to output a new line and we'll output before. Then we'll output after with printf after colon and percent %c to output a character and backslash n to output a new line and we'll output after. If we save compile and run the program, we see that the before character is uppercase a, but the after character is lowercase a. And that's what the to lower function does. If the function is given an uppercase letter from a to z as an argument, then the function is going to return the lowercase version of that letter. So for example, we could pass the function the character uppercase z, and we could save compile and run the program, and now we'll get back lowercase z. Now if the function is past the character that is not an uppercase letter, the function is just going to return that character. So for example, if we pass the function the character lowercase t, and then we save compile and run the program, we're going to find the after character is also lowercase t. If we pass the function a symbol like the at character and we save compile and run the program, we're going to find the after character is also at. So basically, the function only has an effect on the character if the character is an uppercase letter. We can also use the to lower function to work with characters that are part of strings. So let's include the string.h library so we can use the string length function strlen. Then down here, we'll create a string. We'll declare a car array with car string, and we'll store into that car array the string, string of characters. Now we can modify one of the characters in this string. What we'll do is have string at the index two is equal to two lower and string at the index two. So index two is the third character in this string, which is going to be the uppercase R character here. We're passing that to the to lower function and it's going to return lowercase R. We then store that back into the string at the index two. So we're going to turn that uppercase R character in the string to a lowercase R. We could output the string before and after to see the effect. So here we'll have printf and then string before colon and then percent %s to output the string and backslash n for new line, and then string to open the string. And then after, we'll have printf and string after colon, percent s to open the string, backslash n for new line, and then string to open the string. And if we save compile and run the program, we see that letter has been converted to a lowercase letter. Now we could also convert every uppercase letter in this string to a lowercase letter if we use the loop. We could call the string length function strlen and pass it the string as an argument. That function is going to return the number of characters in the string, not including the special null terminator character that ends the string. We could store that into a variable called length. So here we'll have int length. So we could then have a for loop with a counter variable i that's going to go from zero up until length by one with each loop iteration, and i is going to go over each index in the string. And what we'll do is take that character and pass it to the to lower function and then assign the results back to the same index. So here we'll have string at the index i is equal to to lower when it's passed string at the index i. So this loop is going to apply the to lower function to every character in the string and assign the results back to that character. We could then output the string after this. So here we'll have printf and then string lower colon percent s to output a string and backslash n for new line 
and then string to output the string. And if we save compile and run the program, we see all the uppercase letters in the string have now been turned into lowercase letters. So this is how we can use the to lower function in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.